This is a tutorial on the prayers before and after meals that the church has been saying for centuries. If you know the Bless Us, O Lord prayer, that's basically an English translation of the prayer before meals. And this is the Latin form that is the one used for centuries by the saints, etc., and that you can use anywhere in the world as the universal language of the church. So it starts like this, Benedic Domine Nos, go ahead and repeat it, Benedic Domine Nos. And you notice the cross symbol, that's where we accept the blessing by making the sign of the cross on ourselves, because we're asking the Lord to bless us. Bless us, O Lord, Benedic Domine Nos. And then it says, Et hec tua dona, repeat it, Et hec tua dona. Dona means, and these thy gifts. Que de tua largitate, which from thy bounty. Que de tua largitate, sumus sumpturi, we are about to receive. Sumus sumpturi, per Christum Dominum nostrum through Christ our Lord, per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. That cross in brackets there is if the leader or priest wants to bless the gifts when he says, and these thy gifts, and then he makes the sign of the cross over the, the food that we're about to receive. So again, that prayer all together, Benedic Domine nos, et hec tua dona, que de tua largitate sumus sumpturi, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Now, post mensa, that is, after eating at table, we give thanks for what we have just received, and we pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Now, we make the sign of the cross at the beginning of this prayer on the major accents, just like we do at Mass when the priest says, In nomine Patris et Fidi et Spiritus Sancti, for example, at the beginning of Mass. Um, everybody can sign themselves in unison with the priest in order and glory and beauty since we're entering into the heavenly liturgy. And we don't have to stare at him because we do it in rhythm, in the rhythm of the Latin language, um, just like Gregorian chant, etc., is meant to be. So if you find the major accents of those major words, then we sign ourselves on that. So for example, um, at agimus, right? A, and agimus tibi gratias. So grat, that's when you touch your chest at the sun. Agimus, Father, tibi gratias, son. Omnipotens, left shoulder, omnipotens Deus, right shoulder. So, agimus tibi gratias, omnipotens Deus. So you just made the sign of the cross right there in rhythm together. So repeat after me. Agimus tibi gratias, omnipotens Deus, Pro universis beneficiis tuis. Qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum. Amen. Agimus tibi gratias means we give thanks to you. Omnipotens Deus means Almighty God or Omnipotent God. Pro Universis Beneficiis Tuis means for all of your benefits. Qui vivis et regnas, who live and reign, you who live and reign. In secula seculorum, we say forever and ever, but it literally means into the ages of ages. So if you think of an age of ages. So it's, it's a way of saying um, on for going on forever, but it's a more kind of a concrete thing where we think of the actual time going on 
um, like uh, how long an age is, and then you take an age of ages. So it's basically gives a, a more kind of in-your-face idea of the future time going on forever. And then we say Amen. So let's try that all together. Agimus tibi gratia somnipotens Deus, pro universis beneficiis tuis, qui vivis et regnas in saecula seculorum. And then all respond, Amen. Now, we pray for the souls of the faithful departed. So immediately, you just say et, which means and, and then fidelium anime per misericordiam dei requiescant in pace. Amen. So again, this is the leader, and all respond, Amen. So let's do it one line at a time. Repeat after me, et fidelium anime. Per misericordiam Dei, requiescant in pace. Amen. And that means, and the souls of the faithful et fidelium anime, through the mercy of God, per misericordiam Dei. May they rest in peace, requiescant in pace. Amen. Now, there are many ways of finishing this prayer. Uh, you could just make the sign of the cross again, etc. But I like to use this traditional blessing, uh, which again has been used by the church for centuries, which is really beautiful. And here you're asking uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary in heaven to take the child Jesus and bless us with the child Jesus. Almost you imagine like the priest holding Jesus in the monstrance and blessing us with him. And it's a really beautiful image and beautiful blessing. It means more or less may the Virgin Mary bless us with her holy child. Uh, but of course it's more beautiful and deeper in Latin. And it goes like this. Nos cum prolepia benedicat Virgo Maria. So the leader says nos cum prole pia repeated after me nos cum prole pia and then the people respond benedicat virgo maria benedicat virgo maria so let's try it all together nos cum prole pia benedicat virgo maria now again, you may notice the cross there because we're signing ourselves, accepting the blessing from Jesus through the hands of Mary. And the way that that works, again, is on the accents. So benedicat, so on D, we're going to touch our forehead. And then we touch our chest at vir, of virgo. And then Maria, so ri would be our left shoulder. And then we finish it on our right. So if you want to try it again while entering into the rhythm of the Latin and making the sign of the cross that way, so reaching your up to your forehead um, after the leader says nos comprole pia, and you touch your forehead at D all together. So let's try it one more time. Nos comprole pia, benedicat Virgo Maria. I hope this helps. If you do find it helpful for yourself or for others, uh, please consider liking commenting some suggestions on what else I could make that could help you, and subscribe. God bless. Et oremus pro invicem.